Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. How are you all doing? I hope you're great. YouTube, hello. Now, I wanted to produce some more content other than just reviews. I've said it on the page quite a few times now. Uh, we've been very review heavy and we are a community of foodies and like-minded people, I hope. This is going to be a behind the scenes vlog that I'm gonna put out twice a week Wednesday and Sunday, I hope, I try, we're gonna see. Let's find out if it flops or not. So today, we're gonna go behind the scenes. We've got a review to do in London that I've been trying to do for ages. Eggs and stuff, one of these new fancy breakfast restaurants, basically taking cafe, breakfast, bacon and egg sarnies to the next level. So we're gonna jump in the car, go back to the office, and I've got a few meetings to take care of. But this is ultimately the content that a lot of you have asked me to do, behind the scenes stuff about our day, how we do it, where we go, and all the other jazz. So come along for the ride. You join us in the FRC tank en route to North London for this review. Uh, I think this is a really interesting review for us because we did one of these places before, the Mad Egg, egg specialists, serving up the most glorious breakfast rolls. There's my friend, Will. Hello, Will. <laughs> Don't get distracted. Um, the most glorious breakfast rolls. Now, typically, standards move on. Buying trends change. And we've got to have our finger on the food pulse, people. And I think this type of restaurant that we go to today embodies that. It's a real uh, evolution of breakfast food. Maybe we can put a scrolling thing of their Instagram here, Jess, can we? Yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! I'm gonna put a scrolling thing next to me of their Instagram. You can have a look for yourself. It, it looks delicious. If you wanted a breakfast roll, you were hungry in the morning, this is exactly the place you should be going to get some food. So I'll have to come today and give the food a review. People's expectations of food, of takeaways, of standards, evolve and change. We've seen that in so many other, the, 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 the explosion of street food and quality. This is one of those things. I think that we're gonna see more and more of these, these uh, breakfast places popping up in ghost kitchens, in pop-up shops, in regular high street shops. I think, um, I think it's gonna be big news. We wanna have our finger on the pulse. Now whilst I've got you here, we've got some ideas for some wicked content around the food reviews. Now, obviously the food reviews for us are our bread and butter, but there's so much other great food content we can cover. Um, so if you've got any great ideas for food content, nothing disgusting or leery, please get in the comments down and let me know what you'd like to see. And look, look, we try and avoid any spicy death nut challenges again. I think I'm retired from all heat related challenges. That, how do you feel about that, Jess? Well, you know what one we've got coming? What's that? <clears throat> the fermented, oh, the fermented fish. The, oh. what do they call it? I think it's it's being shipped. Oh. 5th of April, everyone. Have you seen those videos going around and people that, they, they are chucking their guts up. Oh God, you're gonna be horrendous. They start. You're the worst sicker. They start being sick <laughs> before they've even <laughs> eaten it. The, the, apparently the smell was completely rancid. Uh, it's fermented. Uh, fish, but I think it's basically just rotten fish. I don't think, no, I don't think it's rotten. Yes. No, I think it's like a delicacy. But there is, I have seen some videos where some people are okay with it, so I think it's really just on each individual. So you might be one of those people that's just. My stomach is turning even thinking about it. <laughs> so there we go, that's another piece of content coming up. Um, oh my god, Jess, why have you said this, man? I actually feel Ugh. sick already <laughs> thinking, about, thinking about it. All right, cool. Well, look. Point, do you want to point the camera forward? We're, we're, we're ploughing through a village at the moment. <clears throat> Soon to be on the M11. And we're going to get there in no time. I was hoping to do some more reviews today, but I've got meetings this afternoon, so I've got to get there and get back, unfortunately. Um, fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm excited, though. Behind the scenes, people. Behind the chuffing scenes. What, Jess? Are you <laughs> yawning now? Now I want to see behind the scenes. This is it. <laughs> so, put the, 
bust the place. <laughs> they put the sat nav on and it said we could be there for like 10 o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock and I've still got 26 minutes to go on Waze. Shout out to you, Waze. Apart from when you take us through the width restrictions. <laughs> I'd shuffing hate that. See you later, curved alloys. There we go. We have made it to North London. Is Buster's first little trip as well. Here you go. Buster. 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 You come say hello to YouTube. Buster. You don't listen to me at all, do you? Buster, this is this is YouTube. Say treat. Treat? Do you want some treats? Too many smells. Too many smells. As you can see, I've got full control over my dog. He's fully obedient. Not. Right, everyone. Good parking. Leave it where you want.com. And we are here. Let we go. Eggs and stuff. There's a little pop-up shop they're doing. Look at this. It's actually just round the corner from Emirates Stadium, just down there. But yeah, it's Holloway Road. Oh, boss man. There we go. Let's get some food. There's <laughs> <laughs> a familiar dog. Hey, Buster. <laughs> Right, we're in here. Eggs and stuff. So this is a little pop-up. Three months you've got here, yeah? Three months pop-up. Hopefully we're trying to send to six. So this is what you had your first weekend yesterday, yeah? First weekend just gone, it was insane. Was it? Go went mad. Yeah, he was running, he was running four and a half. That's good. So you, have you been operating from dark kitchens before this? Dark kitchens, yeah, we've been operating for about a year and a half now. Yeah. Just dark kitchens. Um, we've moved into a few pubs. Yeah. So from April, we're going to be doing outside. We're serving the weather. Nice, nice, nice. We're serving all the pub customers' food. So yeah, this is our first pop-up. Now it's shown us we can, mm. we can go into the shop. You're saying you had uh, landlords coming in and offering yeah, you? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It was better than I thought it'd be. So tell me about the tell me about the concept and the menu and stuff. Like um, you can see, you guys got here. So it's like it's like gourmet breakfast yeah, rolls, so yeah. We just we just took the breakfast bun to another level, really. Just keeping it simple and effective. Just so you guys know at home watching, I've gone for the Mickey Mountain, eleven quid. It's a whopper though. That's I think that's the one that everyone wants on. That's, that's the big one. That's what everyone tries to tackle here. Yeah. I think I, I think I won't struggle to tackle it. <laughs> so um, you shut at two pm, yeah? Uh, 2 PM, so this is predominantly set up for the morning in the morning shift. Breakfast concept, but we're adding a few more pieces of the menu to take us into the, the lunchtime. Is it? Yeah, nice. We're adding a beef burger, a new vegan burger. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. I've got to ask. Yeah. Eggs and stuff. Yeah. How many eggs do you go for a day? What? Depends what you say. Company. Yeah, oh. come on. Give me the, give me the big numbers. Probably about a thousand. A thousand eggs a day? Yeah. That is bad. Yeah. <laughs> got some egg graffiti art on the wall, look. We've got seven locations now. So seven? Back one more next month. And then we'll get to the to get them in the Manchester. Oh yeah, yeah. wicked. Yeah. Well look, we saw you on social media and we had, we had to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. Like it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We work, we work the trip. All right, cool. Nice one. It's delivered. Oh my god. Don't get me wrong, the branding. Look at this. The branding for the company is in top notch, but for me, that's the game changer. That's what everyone. Why though? It's just top quality meat, mate. Is it? When, when you eat it, you know, yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> He's just getting some promo. Let's get a nice close up of this. I've got that one, yeah. So there we go, a little bit behind the scenes as the food gets delivered. Eat it while it's hot. Eat it while it's hot. And this is... Sausage. Oh my God, look at that sausage patty. <laughs> this is like just game changer stuff, isn't it? House sauce. Looking forward to trying that. 
What do you think then, people? First impressions? This is game changer, isn't it? This is the future of breakfast. Breakfast rolls, people don't want that greasy stuff anymore. We want proper quality stuff. And it's 11 pound. I think I'm just gonna review this one, guys, on camera. Save this one for my, for my lovely wife. Boom, let's do it. There we have it. Review done. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a behind the scenes here, look. That is what I was looking at. So, I'm sorry, not you. <laughs> sorry, that was weird. Sorry, mate. This is what I was looking at. This is my view. Lots of distractions for my eyes. But, let's get on with the food. I've absolutely destroyed it. And it was utterly delicious. It was absolutely incredible. I think these uh, gourmet breakfast specialists are gonna are gonna kick off. I really do. Eggs and stuff. I've absolutely loved coming to this place today. So that's the review done. I got some food porn before. I got some pictures before for our Instagram. Hopefully, I got enough content. We did the review. Looked good. I hope. Gave it a good score, as you can imagine. Now we need to jump in the car and drive home. A day in the life of. Got a couple of other things to do this afternoon, but yeah, this is literally behind the scenes. Just gonna try and film the whole lot and see what happens. So, there we have it. Kind of done and dusted. We came to the office this morning, picked up some bits and pieces, laptop, other gear. We've driven to London, ate some beautiful gourmet breakfast food. Now we're back. The time is about, hold on. 1.30, I've still got full day's work to do here at my office. So I hope you've enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at a, a brand new place we haven't reviewed yet. These vlogs are gonna be dropping a couple of times a week, I hope, fingers crossed, put weather permitting, shall we say. If you've enjoyed this video, please, subscribe because there's loads more content to come um things we've never filmed before new concepts what is he eating jess we have he has something new concepts um video variants and whatnot this is not just about the reviews thanks for watching everyone cheers